AEW. We We're listening. Matt it's happening. Coming up April 21st. AEW Dynasty. Bro, so they know everyone's watching to see this, and then they plug Dynasty. It got me to think. The last time we wrestled these guys was at All In. I still have some wounds that they haven't really healed. <laughs> so because they wrestled at all in somehow the jack perry punk fight tells it ties into it because fcr are friends with punk <laughs> or where at least so these schmarmy heel pricks are baby facing oh it's the greatest match we ever were we ever had the usos that's the Usos. Incident backstage involving two individuals. The first being the scapegoat in this entire situation, Jack Perry. Uh, Jack's a lovable kid, also from Southern California, just like us. Yeah, you know, think about it. Kind of they just called Jack Perry a lovable kid. And someone actually once said about Jack, uh, if you got a problem with Jack Perry, chances are uh, you're the problem. Uh, and the other individual, you know what? the other individual, tried to make this entire show about himself. Matter of fact, this individual happens to be good friends with FTR. They just said CM Punk tried to make the entire show about themselves. Maybe uh, FTR no, stupid. Okay, so they're spinning it into an angle where maybe FTR were the masterminds behind this whole brawl out thing. A brawl in. Okay, that's a good spin, but it's very... But it's very just like, well, then why was fucking FTR crying after collision going, oh, there's a lot of people trying to be negative about... You know what I mean? Why why is he saying that shit if if that's the angle, you know? Better tell him to So I think if you look in the, the, the history books, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna see something. You're gonna see this is so over so over five hundred of you guys in the chat. We're play by play in this. I'm also trying to listen. Please hit the like button, guys. Please. Five hundred of you the chat. Let's get to four hundred likes. I ain't even fucking joking. We better get to four hundred. This is such bullshit. the worst part you'll see in a second we'll show you the footage it, it, it's short and it, and it resembles more of a like a high school scrap um, but i would argue this i would argue not not that it was a short a short incident but the ramifications that came out of the incident it it threatened to take down no it didn't oh, they're saying the ramifications oh, oh. of the short incident threatened to take down what everyone worked for then why didn't you guys send Jack Perry home? Here's the footage, guys. Okay, here we go. There's a uh, filming this on my old, phone. Uh, Mrs. There, there. There's Perry. There's Joe. Punk walks up to Perry calmly. Perry tries to walk. No. No, he's in his face though. Like you can, yeah, he's got his face off to the side, and you can see he's like he's look, he's squaring up to him. Per Listen, they're talking, but Perry's right there. Looks like he's mouthing off to Punk, dude. Look like he's talking just shit to Punk. St Punk's just stood there very calm. He's there very calm looking around. He points over. He's looking at the producers. There's monitors right next to them. They're having a real argument, but... Oh, Perry's no, there. God. Punk's went off on him there. Look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's literally exactly like what, what I thought. What Punk said. That's exactly what Paul Oh, said. no. What did Meltzer say? Oh, oh, yeah. What did Meltzer say? Oh, yeah. And look Hulk at Jack threw here. Punches look at Jack and, he here. Missed, and he missed Dude. all of his punches. No, he Dude, didn't. Sure. He threw one I'm punch. And... Okay, guys, listen. I'm about to break this down. So what does Perry think he's going to go at Punk? Jesus Christ. That was literally the biggest fucking... Mom, 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 mom. You know? If, it was exactly this... what everyone thought it was, you guys. My God. How come we're right? How come PWT's right about all these things? How come I knew it? Guys, so this is exactly what happens. 
Punk walks from behind the curtain, goes up to Perry, who's who seems a little reserved, tries to kind not tries to walk away, but kind of just turns away from Punk. Punk looks is like, no, you're not, you're not fucking going to Tony. Like, talk to me. Punk starts talking to him right in his face. They're talking, clearly exchanging words. It seems really calm, but you see Perry with a look on his face, like, what? What do you want? Like, what am I saying? What do you want me to do? Look how disappointed Shivani is. Shivani look, looks like he's embarrassed to actually look, dude. Be there, Shivani's Phil. gonna quit, bro. I think he Holy looks like he's gonna quit. Shit. And Taz, Taz looks like he's holding bro, on for grim Look death. at Shivani's fucking face, man. Oh, yeah, FTR are coming out now, but. Phil, I've got to say, if you actually rewatch that footage again, and oh my god, Jack and we Perry, just got a DM. No, 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 stop, Paul Nolan. We just got a DM from the boys, Brandon and Brent. The boys just DM PWT, and I will we'll read that right on the show. You guys came to the best show. Yes, the boys just DM'd PWT live on the show. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait for this. Oh my goodness. So guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you, if you want to get something read members, you know, I love the members. I'm going to try and read all of your shit, but you got to get super chats in there. 600 of you watching. We need at least 400 likes. My word um, guys. So let me just, now FTR is cutting a promo. And then they're getting the babyface heat by literally the crowd's agreeing with them. FTR is going, instead of talking about our show, we're talking about this show, like this bullshit from back then. And the crowd's agreeing with them. So there you go. That's how stupidly booked this was. They just made AEW look like assholes. This is what happened. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break shit down for you guys. Punk comes from wherever he comes from, the hall. The monitors are right there. Jack Perry's standing right next to um Nolan. I'm coming in clear to you. Hey, my brother. You are, mate. You are today, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So, so the uh the uh he they walk he, a punk walks right up to Jack Perry. Jack Perry's standing right next to the monitors where Tony Khan clearly is, right? So what happens is punk and Jack Perry are clearly talking. Perry kind of turns off like whatever but then perry clearly has this look on his face like like what do you mean like you could see it yeah yeah like what do you mean like kind of bobbing his head and doing his hair back and they're calm for like most of the video in fact they're calm talking for longer than they're than they're not it looks like at one point because samoa joe's walking back and forth warming up so this is right before punk's about to go out and Joe actually looked like when him and when Punk and Perry were in the middle of talking, I looked over at Joe and he it looked like he laughed for a second. Like he kind of <laughs> laughed at something that was being said. So Punk fucking whatever happens out of nowhere, Punk just fucking open hand slaps this dude like like pie faces him. Boom, pushes him back. Perry goes flying 10 feet back like a little fucking bitch gets smacked by Punk. Perry goes flying backwards, okay? Bumps into the wall. A bunch of people jump in immediately. Meltzer goes, oh, yeah, um, what we were told is Punk missed all of his punches. Punk threw one punch as everyone was separating them, and it missed because there's 100 people separating it. And then Perry looks like he's trying to still come at Punk, so you got Joe, like, holding him back. Like, not even holding him back. Pinning his little kid ass his child ass against the wall. And then clearly Tony or something said someone to punk off camera. Cause he turns and he fucking didn't lunge. It looks like he kind of lunged, but he fucking just was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like it kind of looked like a lunge. Will you admit that? I think it did look a little lunge at Tony ish. And then a monitor got knocked over. Not even from the fight from, from punk, like bursting towards Tony, probably because Tony was probably like punk. What are you doing? Why would you do that? <laughs> and then Punk's like, are you fucking kidding me? This little bitch needs fucking disrespect me on the paper. Oh. <laughs> because I told you. Because I fucking because I told fucking you. Told handle it. I was going to do something about this. I fucking told oh. you. Handle it. And if you don't handle it, I'm going to handle it. And you're not going to like the way oh, I handle it. And it. he handled it. Simple. Oh, my God. 
I want to keep. And now FTR is saying stuff. I'm going to have to rewind and rewatch this later so I get to it. The HPN. I love punk more now. A, uh, ABD. And I wasn't even a punk fan. Boom. And that's what. And then so it, it's what happened too. Perry like shot a single leg kind of. And punk just grabbed around his neck. And then everyone broke them up. It's exactly what I said. What did I tell you guys at the start of, at the, start of the show? I said, what's the worst that happens? Uh, uh, Jack Perry shoots in for a double leg and Punk fucking chokes him as he's going to the ground. Like, I called it to a fucking T. I called what happened. It's Dude, fucking, you can't make Dude, it. It's amazing. Up. It's amazing. You know what I've got in my head now is that meme that needs to be, you know, Punk holding onto Drew's leg last night and a big, stupid, shit eating grin on his face. Like, honestly, no wonder he's been in such a good mood last weekend. He's going to be absolutely on cloud nine after this bullshit. Oh my God. This is insane, man. This is, hell- this is- you guys, if you're just tuning in, the Tate twins who were just released by AW just DM'd me during this whole thing. And and we're gonna read that DM. We're gonna read those DMs, man. We're gonna read them on the show, guys. So make sure you're tuned in. Uh, uh, um, yeah, the young bucks fucking stink. That uh, they're little. I like how they kind of tried to spin it, like, oh, you know, F uh, FTR. Maybe they maybe they put Punk up to it. That's a good little spin. I'll actually put that over. But <laughs> Paul Nolan's face. No, no. I I mean, it, it, it's shitty because the uh, because. Um, FTR went out there and basically buried Punk in that promo after Collision. So it's kind of like, you know what I it mean? It makes no sense. It makes zero sense. Because, like, what are you trying to do? Set up a match with somebody who currently is probably the number two or three star in the entire opposition company now, even while he's injured. Right. Like, it makes zero sense. All they've done is pop Punk over even more and proven what we've all been saying for so long. CM Punk does not have to pay his mortgage because he still lives rent free in everybody in his head. Nolan, what do you think? What kind of rating do you think that popped? Uh, that's less than a million. Less oh, than a million. So I think it'll get 800, 900. It'll get probably over 900,000, but it won't tip a million. And I guarantee this will just shoot straight back down now to about 750, 650, something like that. Dude, how embarrassed did Tony Schiavone look? He didn't say one word before they aired it, and then he didn't. They didn't say one word yeah, after. Dude, and because Tony's he knows, involved in that. He knows that Jack Perry cussed him out, and he yeah. knows that that's that Punk was standing up for him, in in a way. And he also knows that this is fucking humiliating. The most professional guy, and I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I like Taz, but he will, he will. He's clearly does this job for a check, as does everyone. But but Taz is there faking it the whole time. We all know that, right? Like, we all have to agree. Taz is there just like, oh, yeah. Like, he go listen to, like, his TNA commentary compared to his AEW commentary. He's just not invested even. And so you have Shivani, the most veteran professional guy at that announce desk. And he looks just disgusted, disappointed, distraught. And he's sitting there. He almost looks sick to his stomach. And fucking Excalibur, oh, this is great. We're going to go right now backstage to the Bucks and see the the all-in footage. Oh, fucking just ridiculous. Uh, do, the, do you think the Bucks were behind Punk not getting transportation to Wembley? And if so, do you think Punk might have already been in a foul mood thinking he was being set up to lose his temper? Yeah, so I think, um, I don't know if he was being set up to lose his temper. Sorry about that. To lose his temper, um, specifically, right? I think that he just felt hard done by and slighted because he fucking was left at the goddamn airport and he's the biggest draw taking part in the biggest and best match as per fucking Paul Nolan, who was there in attendance at All In. Punk had the best match against Joe and he was there, their real world's champion, their biggest draw. And they left him at the fucking air. They didn't get him transportation. And yes, it's not do I think it, Jimmy Fingers 19, you lovely motherfucker. It's I know it. Because go on X and look up the travel guy for AEW, who Brandon and Brent Tate had problems with too, which is why they were fired and accused of no-showing was because of this fuckhead travel guy. 
and the Tay Twins DM'd PWT. <laughs> We're about to get into it, folks. I can't wait. So make sure you stay locked in right here, all 750 of you. But no, I know for a fact they left him there because they were avoiding him. They avoided that meeting. And the travel guy, in his Twitter bio, it says hashtag stand in young buck. And it's him and the bucks posing, and he's dressed like a buck. He's a bucks fan. He's a buckaroo. And um, so he was in a foul mood. They were trying to sabotage his performance, perhaps maybe had him show up late to the building, but they, uh, they didn't think it would like make him lose his temper and choke people out. That was the best case scenario for the, the schmuckaroos as we call them. Um, Paul Nolan, your thoughts. So yeah, you're absolutely right in everything you've said. He addressed it punk in the Helwani interview where he said like, it, you know, it's a bit unprofessional to have your biggest star be left at the airport. But he said, look, I get like the, you know, the blue line back home when I'm in Chicago. Like, it's no problem me getting public transport. And he was on the tube and figured it out. Yeah, uh, apparently he needed to ask for some help off people and he got there. One thing, I'm just going to go off the script for a second here. Apparently this Will Ospreay promo is him uh, responding to Triple H's comments about him not wanting the grind. Okay, well, I I'll have uh, back. FTR and the uh, Will Ospreay mm -hmm. stuff. I could maybe do it later in this show. Him responding to, oh, I don't want the grind. No, there's no excuse you can make. You don't want the grind. You signed for fucking eight years. You wrestle part-time. You're, you're getting flown to UK. You're not in Utah. You're not in the trenches. I'm so sorry, but there's nothing you can say. Uh, just overall, this is hilarious and sad as hell. AEW is drowning in its self-made drama. The guys who want to actually get over must feel deflated right now. Dude, they do. <laughs> they do. Look at Shivani's face. Look at Shivani's fucking face. So instead of the elite being men and doing business, they chose being babies instead because why? Because Punk made more money? It could have rivaled the bloodline. AEW has been circling the drain since. Fucking dude. Yeah, you nailed it, Jimmy Fingers 19. Um, they like if they had to just they could have aired the footage from Brawl in or, or the first one where the punks got beat or the punks where the bucks got beat up by punk. They could have aired that footage. Or they didn't even have to air it. They could have just did a feud off of that and made a shit ton of money. Like you said, maybe rivaled the bloodline. It would have been so hot in that boom period of wrestling that WWE is going through. AEW would have felt so much of that too if they had to just went with the story then that everybody wanted to see. But they chicken shit it out and then all in went down. And then we just saw the footage to that and it's exactly what we thought. And it just made Perry look like a bitch because he got hit and he... Because he got hit and he fucking like shoots in or like what happened? Like he gets hit. He goes flying like 10 feet backwards and then he shoots in and it's like, oh my God, I can't wait. I can't wait to go on X guys. Why are they mad? Because it's not how they want it. He wanted to change and make the show about him. No, dude, they gave a whole show for him because you guys were crying so much and it still wasn't good enough for you guys. You had to try and break glass on it on his show and shit. So and Fuck all it, the uh, biggest houses uh, and all the biggest gate and all the biggest ratings in AW history are down and all to the one, merch man, one man only. One Bill Phil, not good enough. This is it my wasn't one Bill it's Bucks. Tough. It wasn't the Bucks with their fake money confetti shooting in the air in their little entrance. It was fucking Phil, and they didn't like that. Uh, it's okay. This Phil right here, Phil Marks rubs people the wrong way too. So I get it. I get it, CM Punk. We're right there with you, Punker. Um, the HPN for $5 says showing one of your pillars being destroyed by a 45 year old. Is <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's so true. Yeah. You just popped us. What do you want us to say? HP HPN. Thank you for the super chat. So good. <laughs> yeah. It certainly is a choice to say the least. Uh, um, TSMA PG tar five, six. Uh, I don't know what to call you, brother. I'll call you TS. TS. Uh, even if this bumped their rating, don't we think this is just going to compound their declining ratings long term? Maybe at a higher rate than ever. Mm. Paul Nolan, what do you think about that? Absolutely. I think not only will it actually piss a lot of people off that is already brought in the product, that still might have been a bit CM Punk adjacent. I actually don't think it recruits anyone to their cause either. It's, you know, watching this kind of like inside baseball, IWC drama 
is not going to recruit new fans. And again, I think it actually it actually really does risk driving people away. Yeah, so I called it. Joe and Rhodes are going to fight uh, tonight for that belt at the main event. I guess smart to kind of swerve them into like, okay, we'll open the show. Joe gets attacked. Edge comes out against Penta, and then we'll air the footage, and then we'll... But now there's a bullshit six man that no one cares about. So you're just losing all the fucking ratings. Like they just don't know what's good for them, man. They just don't know what's oh, good. No, they don't. And I've got to say, now again, I don't really watch Dynamite a lot. Um, and I with good reason based on what I'm seeing tonight. But on Monday, I actually got to watch Raw all the way through for the first time in a long time. And I've got to say, man, I am so impressed with how that show flew. Like, it's tight, it's well-produced, it's night and day compared to what it was even a couple of years ago. And the three hours absolutely flew by. And honestly, I'm, I've am i got this picture-in-picture picture here now while I'm on the stream. But I've got to say, like, even picture-in-picture picture with low volume, it's like pulling teeth watching this thing. Yeah, this is bad. Like, why the fuck would you put this random Shibata Jericho hook and then yeah, and then they're fighting Anthony Agogo, Shane Taylor, and Lee Moriarty. Like, have they even been on AEW TV yet? Anyways, thank you, TSM. I'm getting all the super chats, guys. Cadmus, Tony Schiavone just lived his second. That'll put butts in the seats moment in real time. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh show of hands, one's in the chat if you fucking turn this shit off after the fucking altercation went down. <laughs> yeah, dude. Absolutely oh, ridiculous. Um, yeah, uh, you're you're right. I mean, Paul Nolan, your thoughts on that? And is that five pounds? That's pounds right there, right? English pounds, bro. English pounds. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. Maybe we can donate it to Will Ospreay so he can get an upgrade on his stupid, shitty track suits that he wears on television oh, every man. week. Um, you know but yeah, um, it, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Like that whole Shivani thing is just is just mental. Really, I don't is, hear Shivani like, talking much at all, even through the rest of it. I haven't no, heard him say it, a word. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be. I I think he might leave. I I actually think this might trigger one or two people to to move on. I've got to say, I do I do think it's that serious. Apparently, yeah. there's a lot of people backstage who are really really quite upset that this is going. Uh, that has gone out tonight. Thank you so much for the super chat, Sandman98. And there was no blood anywhere except for Shivani's blood rushing into out of his fucking face as he knows the embarrassment or into his face, rather, as he realizes the embarrassment he's about to endure. Um, Miguel for $5. Thank you so much. Miguel says, damn, I wish there was audio. People would say punk attack first, but we have no idea what Jack was saying to punk that set him off. Well, we we did a pretty good job here, Miguel, of painting the picture, I'd like to say, myself and uh, Paul Nolan. I think we, we, um, we painted a good picture. It looked like Perry was really kind of gibbering at him and... Uh, giving him the little neck twist attitude. Well, what do you, blah, blah, blah. and then, uh, and then punk just smacked him. That's what it looked like. Perry rather was kind of twisting his neck and doing that at uh, punk. And then he just said, you know what? Fuck this. And that's what it is, dude. Sometimes it's just like, fuck this. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying assault people, but sometimes it's just like, you know, shit's going to happen. So, um, yeah, I wish there was audio too, but it does. It wouldn't have if there is. They didn't play it for a reason because it does nobody no good to play it. Um, it only does pair makes Perry look like a goof. You know, they're trying to protect their asses. Literally tuned in only for footage. What I saw was Punk talking calmly. He takes a look back as to see if anyone else was hearing what Jungle Child was saying. Then he had to choke the chump. Yep. Dummy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what that's what's happened, guys. Dustin Rhodes cutting a great uh he's cutting a great promo here. No, Kareem Harper, you're absolutely right, man. Uh Punk looked calm as shit. He did exactly as he said. He just walked up to him and talked to him and said, What the fuck? And Perry was doing the little neck jiving, twisting of the neck and this and that. And um, you guys know what happened next. He got smacked in the face, went flying, shot in a single. But then it looked like after Joe and everyone was holding perry back it looked like perry was like kind of like what what like trying to break free and like what i'll fight you which like that's a joke and then um and then tony khan fucking punk clearly did like turn to the side 
and like freak out but it wasn't a lunge it was like a and you shut the fuck up mark like you know it's kind of like a turning and and you you know like kind of point in his face and a monitor gets knocked over and it's uh and tony's like i feared for my life how how did that make you fear for your life you fucking guy man that's a billionaire that's privilege you know what i mean people talk about privilege i'm not one of these guys who likes to throw that kind of shit around but that's billionaire privilege right there like you never come on dude fucking you go to the liquor store you go you go to the corner store where i grew up and you see worse shit than that that's come on there's almost a thousand of you guys watching, though, by the way. A round of applause for the for the PWT listeners. Hit like. <laughs> Bucks just buried Perry Edge after he gave that promo last week. And Shivani with this footage. Tony Khan is worse than Dixie Carter. By far worse than Dixie Carter. It's, it's incomparable. Incomparable, if that's how you say it. Um, Okada's fighting a literal no-name jobber beating him down. Oh, I'm glad Eddie Kingston had that whole tournament and Okada beat him for this so he could just fight this fucking jobber for no reason. This show fucking stinks. This show stinks. Um, yeah, um, it's worse. It, it is worse. And Shivani was embarrassed. I feel just bad for Shivani. He looked fucking disgusted. Do these idiots know they just buried Jack Perry? Yeah, and their whole show, the fucking Bucks ran out there. And if they start chanting fucking CM Punk, wonder how Uncle Dave will defend this. Um, well, um, you know, like, um, what happened was like, um, when, um, you know, uh, punk went up and, um, like, you know, I said, um, there was like, um, blood, but you know, um, that's, that's what he'll say. But yeah, dude, he, he can't defend this. He looks like a fucking idiot. Um, John JID for $5 says, I love old NWA wrestling. Shivani at the desk now has to be thinking of himself as a kid and just thinking, where did I, where did I go wrong to end up here? No, you're absolutely right, man. It's fucking embarrassing. It's the most embarrassing that he looked so embarrassed and I don't blame him. And it all stems from like, why did you cuss Shivani, Jack Perry? Why the fuck did you cuss him? Completely, complete, silly goofiness. TK heard what Jack said during his match. Had Punk come up to him and say, handle it or I will. Didn't handle it. And then saw both guys talking in front of him and didn't think anything bad would happen. He could he could have prevented it absolutely this is all tony khan's fault this is all tony khan's fault it's all his fault it's a fucking joke okay it's a joke and then and then the bucks come out and then they start chanting cm punk so there you go stupids there you go stupids hope it was worth it for fucking jack perry emotional damage and fucking talk tony conscious and they're going oh yeah but jess you, you you couldn't be more right and i and there's a cute cat in your uh in your picture there i just i enjoy just seeing that alone cheered me up a little bit um thank you so much for the super chat and I, and, and and i just agree he could he could have stood up and went you guys separate and i'll deal with this in a minute i'm sorry i let this blow overboard but we'll fix this okay or whatever like it, just be a man be a boss it's crazy it's crazy thank you so much jess i just don't understand the logic on how aew thinks this helps i don't get what the logic was surely a group of corporate level adults know better you would think that joe coughlin you would think that but apparently not um I think they thought we'll pop a rating, we'll plug the pay-per-view, but then it's exactly like I said, like, what did they think people were going to stick around to watch the rest of the show? They put a random fucking six man in the ring. Like who gives a shit? And where's Jericho? I want his thoughts on this. God damn it. Um, thank you so much, Joe Coughlin. Yeah. And how it doesn't, it, there's no logic. It's illogical. This company lacks all logic. There's arena footage and the fans are cheering punk during and after the video. Oh my God. And it's not a shock to me that that's what happened, that they're cheering. And it's, they, they were fucking chanting for punk when the bucks came out they just made themselves look like the biggest bitches ever and remember Meltzer's like oh well i believe that um, it should be to bring jack perry back right nope no no y'all fucking stupid nope it wasn't it wasn't to bring him back or had do any angle with him nope 
So uh, just ridiculous, complete bullshit. We're going to watch it right here together. I'm sure you guys already went and crept it out on your own. Uh, why didn't TK punish Jungle Boy for cursing out Shivani, Daryl from production, the doctor, etc.? He's a pussy. Yes, exactly. So here we go. At the bottom, you see the incident. At the top, you see what Punk explained happened. Jack came back from his match. I was the next match. I'm sitting there. So Jack's here from his match. Aubrey Edwards is doing weird shit. Look at her goofing with the Jack came back from his match. Weird shit. I was the next match. I'm sitting there. I got I got being in the way. Joe's over to the left pacing back and forth. Now at one point I swear I saw him laughing. So let's got people with me. I'm not going to say who they are, you know, cuz I got a lot of friends. Oh no, he didn't have people with him. He didn't have people with him. No, he did. He didn't mean right behind, like, and also we can't see on camera our House of Black standing behind him. Probably. We don't know. We don't know. Um, here we go. So he walks up. So you see Punk right here in the, right? And he walks up to Jack. So let's, you know, because he's already talking to him too before he walks up. He he sees Jack. Like Jack is just standing there walking by and you can tell Punk. Jack like, hey, came Jack. back from his match. I was the next match. I'm sitting there. I got. I got people with me. He's already talking to him. So you can see Punk or uh, Perry stops dead in his tracks like, oh, shit, deer in a headlight look. I'm not going to say who they are, you know, because I got a lot of friends who work there. And I, I, I wish Punk looks calm. Perry tries to, like, walk away. Punk says, no, be a fucking man and address what you said. Them all well, and I don't, don't want them to be punished because they're friends with me. Punk's holding his title, too. Like, it's not like he walked up looking for a fucking fight, guys. The, all this does is prove AEW is liars. These fucking dummies. Oh my god. Dummy. Yeah. Emotional damage. All this does is prove that they're fucking liars because he has his belt in his hand. Like he's not even trying to fight, dude. He's not even trying to fight. Like, and then look at how Perry's just looking at him. Mm. And then you see, like, the refs are looking now. This guy here with the headsets looking like, oh shit. This uh, Jerry Lynn is who I want to say this is right here. Um, Joe's off camera. Now, what they showed on TV, you could see Joe the whole time. So hopefully, you know, and I walk up to him and I'm just like, Jack, why? Do you Look, see, he even shoulder shrugs, right? Ariel synced this perfectly. Punk goes, yeah, I walk up and go, why do you? And you can even see Punk shrugging his shoulders, right? When he says that. Jack, why do you insist on doing this dumb internet shit? Like on, on TV conversation, everything's calm. Everyone's calm, you know? Perry's mouthing, blah, blah, blah. You just see him saying something. Okay. Fucking, it better be, I'm sorry for cussing Shivani. And he's just like, well, if you look, he's kind of like, whatever. Got a problem about it. Do something about it. And I was just like, man, come on, man. <laughs> you know, I would fucking kill you. <laughs> like, what are we doing? He looks over at Tony. He looks over at Tony Khan saying, are you going to do something about this? You know? And then Jack Perry said some shit. Look at that. And he's shaking his head. No, what is he saying to Punk? Don't look at him. What is he saying to him? Right there. Punk looks over. Watches the way his head turns. He looks over to Tony. And then Punk says some shit. Nah. Or I mean, pardon me. Perry says some shit. Nah. Shakes his head. Nah. Like whatever he's saying. And then Punk just smacks him. I fucking kill you. <laughs> like, what are we doing? So he looks you over know? at Tony. And it just, you know. Punk says some shit to tony perry looks shakes his head no perry's touching his own face right now it's like chael says sometimes he just and then punk points out over there like behind and like what are you fucking like over here or something i don't know maybe he's like let's go over here and talk about it or something I can't let you get close perry's saying like no something no something you know i thought i was doing a responsible thing you know and then you see perry he's like smirking in his face like this is where i just don't like bro like fucking uh oh, i didn't punch anybody boom he fucking he he didn't punch anybody he open hand slapped this kid dude look at did y'all see that shit i didn't punch anybody boom i just choked somebody a little bit yo let's look at that shit in super slow-mo boomed him with his belt in his hand guys his belt's in that hand you understand Oh, he dropped the belt. So he dropped the belt, gloms him. Perry goes flying backwards, still adjusting his hair. And then Punk's coming at him, tries to grab him. Perry shoots a single leg. 
Punk bumps the table. Okay, so you're scared for your life, Tony, because of Jack Perry. He shouldn't have shot the double. He should have swung back. Punk catches him in a choke. That's just standard. Like, you know, Jack Perry don't know how to actually wrestle, so he didn't tuck his chin properly, and Punk just grabbed his neck. Joe comes flying in to grab Perry first, like, you fucking dumb Mark. Yeah, Punk's straight. Now, let me break this down. Can you guys see my mouse? I'm going to break this down, dude. Punk's left arm and shoulder are draped over the head and neck. Punk actually does have a deep choke. That's either forearm. And if you see Punk's reaching underneath, this black lump here, that's Perry's top of his head. Look at where I've seen it. I watch enough shoot fights. I've been choked out enough in jujitsu. I've choked enough people to know. Punk has a deep choke in there. And you can see that his foot's not tied up anymore either. So Perry let that shit go. And Joe's pulling on Perry. So he's getting fucking yanked on and choked out like a fucking goof. <laughs> this shit's hilarious. This shit is hilarious. I love being right, dude. Buddy, a little bit. Samoa Joe was there. Chokes him. He's getting choked. Tony. He's getting fucking choked out right now. Look at the ref breaking, trying to break. Now, do you see the ref's arm is try he's trying to slide his hand to get separation between punks forearm like where's the other side of his elbow and the and the and the choke dude like perry's getting choked the fuck out right here dude told me to stop very fast and they I, they had to rip perry out of punk's grasp up and then i quit and then he I throws quit. a punch melter um oh he was uh throwing a bunch of punches that missed and all of his punches missed i don't know and then i quit one punch looked like it missed there because they're all being separated I okay i turned to tony and i said this Okay, here's the... So now Joe is bringing Perry back, and Perry's acting like he still wants to fight, even though Joe's holding you back. Yeah, you sure? And then look at Joe just manhandle this fucking kid into the corner. Time out. Look at Joe manhandle this fucking little kid into the corner. Time out, buddy. Time out. <laughs> Yo! Yo, dude, I love this, dude. Thank you, AW. Thank you, Tony Khan. I'm actually very appreciative of this. <laughs> I'm actually very appreciative of this, dude. Oh my god. Then Here we go. I turned to Tony and I said this. And then and then here's the lunge. This is actually pretty rank, but this isn't, oh, I'm gonna attack Tony. This is like a I'm gonna get in Tony's face, tell him he's a fucking clown and a, and I quit, you know? That's what this looks like to me. So um I turned to Tony and I said this place is a fucking joke man you're a clown i quit jack came back yeah this place i mean here we'll watch it in full without me pausing it the whole fucking way jack came back from his match i was the next match i'm sitting there and i got i got people with me i'm not going to say who they are you know because i got a lot of friends who work there and I, I i wish them all well and i don't, don't want them to be punished because they're friends with me you know and I walk up to him and I'm just like, Jack, why do you insist on doing this dumb internet shit like on, on TV, you know? And he's just like, well, if you got a problem about it, do something about it. And I was just like, man, come on, man. <laughs> you know, I would fucking kill you. <laughs> like, what are we doing? You know? And it just, you know, it's like Chael says, sometimes you just can't let you get close. Can't let you get close. You know, I thought I was doing a responsible thing. You know, I didn't punch anybody. I just choked somebody a little bit. Samoa Joe was there, told me to stop, and then I quit. I turned to Tony and I said, this place is a fucking joke, man. You're a clown. I quit. And and Jack and, and, and I don't the... blame him for lunging, lunging at Tony like that. I don't blame him for that because, dude, he's so mad. It's like what he's, lun what he's getting in Tony's grill for that is like, dude, fucking do something about this do something about this like bro you're a fucking clown like i said so many times sorry guys i'm bumping my mic around I'm trying to get adjusted here um he said so many times hey like fucking dude do something do something do something he ends up slapping him he chokes him out he lunges at towards to okay is that a lunge sure dude have you has anyone ever been mad at you have you ever been mad at someone like holy shit you know um, I've had moments like that with other players on my fucking basketball team and shit, you know, like that's, that's foolish. So, um, 
but he basically is getting in Tony's face, yelling at him like, you're a fucking clown. This all happened, and I'm embarrassed. Like, I'm embarrassed now because you fucking made an embarrassment. Like, you allowed all this shit to happen. You allowed it to get to a point where I'm smacking guys and embarrassing my fucking self and embarrassing this company. Biggest event ever. And, like, it's your goddamn fault. You're a fucking goof. You deserve to be screamed at. Nobody screamed at you. Nobody spanked your ass. Right here, Jess. Yeah, he wasn't lunging to swing on him. He was lunging to get in his face and yell, you're a clown, I quit, and point right in his face and say, you're a fucking goof. And that's exactly it. And um, so, and then, oh, I feared for my life. That's lawyer talk. That's bullshit, dumb, dumb talk uh, for the lawyers so that Tony Khan doesn't look like more of a fucking idiot, man. And uh, he's justified and firing punk and all that. So here's what Tony Khan said about why they're going to air the footage. Uh, Tony Khan has commented on CM Punk's interview. This is per Wrestle Talk TV on the MMA Hour, noting that it was interesting timing ahead of backstage footage from AW All In being set to air in tonight's Dynamite show. Um, so it's. Tony Khan says that was interesting timing given where everything stands for us. This is a decision based on the timing of our upcoming pay-per-view. So they're saying it was interesting timing for punk to say what he said, depend uh, d uh, if you're focusing on how everything stands in, uh, in the whatever. Right. So he's already, it's just like excuses like, Oh, it's interesting. You did that right before WrestleMania. Like, it was already the biggest WrestleMania ever, Tony. They didn't do this. The, you, you know, alluding to you, Marks, didn't sell any more WrestleManias, okay? Um, so that's just goofy. So moving along, he says, for us, this is a decision based on the timing of our upcoming pay-per-view, AEW Dynasty, and given where the Young Bucks stand going into the World Tag Team Championship Tournament Finals at AEW Dynasty, this was the right time and place for them to play this footage and talk about why it's relevant to them and AEW going forward and what this means going into AEW Dynasty. So basically, yeah, they tried to sell the pay-per-view. They used it to try and plug Dynasty thinking, oh, oh, we know, like he got, Ariel Hawani got a shitload of views for this fucking interview. Let me, you know, try and shift it to get views on the pay-per-view and the product. And here's a six-man tag with fucking Lionhook and Lee Moriarty beating Shibata. You know, like, it's just fucking, it's fucking joke. Joke of a fucking show and promotion, dude. Honest to God. And this is sad coming from me. Like, go listen to Pro Wrestle Times. If you're new here, go listen to the first podcast, youtube.com slash at pro wrestle times listen to episode one i love aw i have for a long time it's just that um i still do like yeah people go it's good for the business i it is you know at the end of the day but also what it is is it's a fucking joke like, or is it good for the business i don't know it's good to get people money who like maybe wouldn't make money wrestling otherwise or it's good for like edge to go he deserves like i'll never be mad at edge for going anywhere that gives him $3 million. Yes. $3 million. You know, um, I'll never get mad at him for, for any of that. So, um, he deserves it, but it's just like, yeah, it's good for that. But is it good for like booking or clearly the backstage or any of that? Like, no, it's not. It just, it's embarrassing. Tony Schiavone. It's embarrassing fucking. Uh, so with that being said, here's some more Tony Khan, uh, AEW. So this is him making, a comment to Sports Illustrated about why he uh, is airing the footage. And he says, AEW has a great track record on delivering what we advertise, and it is real footage. The Young Bucks will show backstage footage from All In, the most important event in AEW history, the world record holder for the most tickets ever sold for any wrestling record, over 81,035 total. Ah, uh, dude, he's, he's still hanging on to this fake number. It's such a fucking joke. He can't still be hanging on to this fake number, dude. It's absolutely embarrassing. Tony Khan bullshitting. The decision is based on putting on the best show for AEW as well as driving interest for Dynamite and our Dynasty pay-per-view. How did this drive interest to Dynamite? This made people literally shut Dynamite off. Man, Tony Khan is really needs to get the fuck away from AEW. If he cares about pro wrestling in AEW, he will get his toxic the toxicity that permeates around him the fuck away from it, dude. That is just, how did that help their fucking show? What a bunch of fucking idiots, man. Jeepers. Um, 